Hey, welcome back to another video hosted by Spellstorm Miniatures. My name is Dan, and have you ever kind of wanted a whole bunch of dice? Maybe you like gambling a little bit, have some different colored dice? Well, you might already be familiar with this product, but I haven't bought a Chessex pound of dice in probably about a decade, and so I figured, why not give it another shot, see what it looks like. Now, there is a little bit on this. They are kind of cheap. You don't get to choose your colors, but you do get one matched set that they kind of say is like the collector, so get them all, right? I don't think I need that many dice. So let's dive into this bag to see if it's worthwhile, if it's just a bunch of defective rejects that don't look good, or if we can even pair together any set besides the one that it comes with. Generally, this is just a bit of fun to increase my dice collection and kind of search through. It's a great way to divide up amongst some friends or a casual party. Maybe you're missing a couple colors or you just want to mix it up. So let's open it. I will make the distinction. This is the kind of classic pound of dice. It has all the different polyhedro dice in there. You can also get just a D6. This retails for about $35, but of course you can find it cheaper than that on some online sites. I'll even link one down below for Amazon. All right, I'm gonna speed this up a little bit and probably dim the volume because it's gonna get loud. Now let's see how much damage I can do. Now that's just oddly satisfying on its own, just chucking this many dice. Let's see what our special set is. Just see that one out of the way. Harder to get to than the whole bag. All right, kind of an interesting color. Like a brown, red, speckled. Not exactly what I was hoping for. Perhaps I'll find some use for it though. But it is as they promised a set of dice for your D&D games or whatever RPG you're going with. And you notice the tens, they have one that's the 10 spot and one that is not, and one that's kind of the singles. That does help make it a little bit cleaner to know what's going on when you're playing. All right, up close you can see there's a little bit more kind of speckled confetti in there. I'm just maybe having an issue with the uh, kind of peachy tan color. But anyway, we have those right away from my lot of dice here. There are quite a number of them, huh? Some neat looking ones like this guy, kind of a purple green. Neat, but I don't think there's really gonna be any matches. A few of the D20s are all kind of splitting color, almost looks like. Some orange, uh, three that almost look exactly the same. So that's interesting. I don't need three D12s most likely, uh, four D12. Eh, slightly different, but could work in there. But again, it's a great way that you might get these lots that you're gonna chuck that many. And yeah, if you want them to match, there you go. Let's have like a cheese looking one, some purples. So now the next fun task of separating these all out and let's see how many of each dice I have in here. There we have it. This was actually very D10 heavy as you can see, so I just bumped a couple of them up. Otherwise, there's all the dice that I get. What's interesting is the D4s really kind of match, like these three, or four of them actually, and then a little separate, but you got eight of them. Then we move up to 23 D6s with a few matching. Actually, I really like this color, kind of with the frost ripping through. Got five of them, it looks like. It's a little decent set. A few other ones that kind of match. You'll also notice some of them have kind of the square versus the rounded edges. So you do have the bit of variety in there as well. And then this fun looking speckled one. And a couple of them you do see the pip on the die. Marking in the pip is a little bit off. And then this, you know, the edges are a little rough. So you do have some slight issues, but nothing that's too overcomable. Or if you just want to add some of these to a basic game, it's a great way to go too. And it looks like 20 D8s, which is quite a few. Seems a lot more variety. These are kind of matching, a few of them in there. Some nice purples, blues in here. Got three of those. And then kind of a plain gray, plain purple, orange. So they're not all gonna be fancied up. And another gray one there. Then it looks like we have 23 D10s, so definitely the conqueror of them and quite a few matches kind of this black with the silver got another matching one over there this darker blue 
You know, I'll separate them out a little bit more here a little bit later. I just kind of wanted to get the rough count. You got the green ones here to see really what matches. Although so far, I'm not seeing a bunch of carryover to make a full set besides what's inside themselves. So, a little bit of a bummer, but move on from that. Then only eight D12s. It's almost hoping for a few more D12s, especially over D10s. I don't need this many D10s, and D6s are useful in a lot of things. But what's really weird is half of them are matching to themselves. So, all right. Don't know how well that variety worked in there, or they just didn't have that many D12s to reject or get rid of into these bags. Then up top, we have 16 D20s. I do like to have variety in some of the D20s. It's kind of fun. But again, three of them matching, find a little bit odd. And then a little bit on the dies again, kind of off on some of them, or a little bit worn inside the pip. So just not quite making the cut. But a few of them do seem to pair up pretty well. I mean, they both have the purples and the teals. These blues are fairly similar, these guys. So you can still make some good, decent variety of sets. Just unfortunately, not really enough to make sets like the included one. But again, for the price, I don't really call this a bust. Actually adds a lot of variety to what I have. Or again, if you just wanna throw some at friends, I mean, literally give it to them, toss it to them, whatever you need to do. But really, don't hurt your friends. It's not very nice. Overall winners, I really like some of these. They all look good. They should roll fine. I use a few of them to combine with sets that I already kind of have. Like, I do have some others that are almost like in this color and a few others that they'll integrate a little bit better if I kind of want to get that cohesion. But maybe there's times you just want dice to look completely separate. Either way, for under $30, you get a lot of decent, good quality dice with a little bit of fun of the gamble. So thanks for joining me on this video. If you like the content, please like and subscribe. Then don't forget to check out spellstormminiatures.com for links to a variety of our other sites, including our Discord.